Hello and welcome to Bodhicari Avatara, uh, chapter 7, verse 13. I've just seen that I've made a mistake on my title page here. There we are. Let me call up the text for you. Nirudyama Palanka Kshin Sukumara Bahuvyata Mrichugrasto Marakara Adokita Bihanyase Again, Nirudyama Palakang Kshin Sukumara Bahuvyata Mrichugrasto Marakara Adokita Bihanyase So this is, the first line is um, a series of vocatives, O oh, you who are, Nirudyama Palankakshin Sukumara Bhuvyata. The root yam, the root meaning of that is striving or exerting pressure, pushing or, or pulling, it's the root meaning of yam. So the udyama, effort, the root meaning of that is kind of pushing up. Nirudyama, with the prefix nish or nir, nirudyama, without effort. Uh, the word Pala is a fruit. It's a fruit in the in the literal sense, a fruit growing on a tree, an edible fruit. And also in the, the figurative sense, like the, the fruits of your work, that means the, the results of your work. Akanksha means a, a yearning or a desire. And an akankshin is one one who has a desire. Bala strength, balin strong, akanksha desire, akankshin desirous. If you are pala akankshin, you are desiring a result. Somebody who desires a result is pala akankshin, and by santi pala akankshin. But if you desire an effortless result, if you desire, you want the results, but without putting in the work. Nirudyama palakankshin. Okay, you, you, you want to get the reward, but without putting in the effort. Then you are nirudyama palakankshin. Literally, without effort, fruit desiring. Sukumara. We had this in the previous uh, verse. It's this caustic, sarcastic way. You, you delicate little thing. You know, you, 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 you want the reward. You want your goodies, but, um, but without having made the effort to get them. Sukumara. Bahuvyata. Vyata. From the root vyat here, yeah, meaning to, to tremble, to suffer, to be sorrowful. And you can make a compound adjective from that root bahu, meaning much. Make an adjective by adding a, ah, so bahu vyata, much, sof, much sorrowing, long suffering. O oh, you then, the words O oh, you aren't there. Um, but it's all in the vocative. So, hey, you nirudyama palakankshin, you desirer of fruit without making an effort, sukumara, you know, poor little didums, delicate little thing, sukumara, bahuvyata, long-suffering, you sarcastically, you aren't really long-suffering, you just think you are, you think you have endured much, bahuvyata, but just wait till you see what's coming to you. Mrichu grasto amarakara. 
This Mrchugrasto, as I've explained down in the uh, note here, you'd expect to see the, the vocative here rather than the nominative. Mrchugrasta, um, vocative Mrchugrasta, with the Visarga there. And here with Visarga, it's Mrchugraha. Amarakara becomes by Sandhi Mrchugrasto Marakara. Um, I would expect, as I say, to see it in the vocative, so mrichu grasta. It may be intended here as a separate sub sub phrase, not in the vocative, but in the in the nominative. It sits slightly awkwardly the way it is. Maybe it's um, an error that's crept into the text. Maybe it should be in the vocative. Mrichu grasta, death seized. You who are death seized. Grasta is more seized in the mouth. Gras means to to um, to grab with the mouth. Gras and grasta. Mrichu grasta. Um, that should be. Mrichu grasta. Death seized, or in the jaws of death. Amarakara. Amara, as we know, is immortal. Mri, to die. Amara, undying. Akara. Akara is from the root kri, meaning to make or to put on. Let me just go to the... to the... Um, iPad here. So kri to do put the prefix ah. It's like your your makeup putting on. And this kri meaning to do also has the meaning of to put. So the akara something you take on to yourself. You put on your little bit like makeup, an appearance of something, the form. So, um, and also, you therefore, your behavior, the way you project yourself with your akara. So, amara akara, immortal behavior. In other words, behaving as if you're immortal, your amara akara, rather than behaving wisely with the knowledge of impending death. So, amara akara, behaving as if you'll never die. Ha dukkita bihanyase. So the ha, often it can mean ha, as in ho ho, laughter, but more often ha is um, an exclamation of, of alarm or fear or warning to somebody. Ha dukita vihanyase. Ha dukita. Dukita. Um, again, it's the evocative. We know dukkha, and you can make a verb out of that. Dukkayati means to cause dukkha to somebody, and the past participle of it, regularly formed, dukkayati becomes dukkita. The dukkita means that pain has been caused to you. For your your in pain, but in pain that's been caused. So ha dukita, you in pain, invocative. Vihanyase uh, root han past participle hata cognate with our English word hit. Um, so it means to hit or or to kill. So vihan the V meaning a part or about literally to, to strike a part it means to, to, to beat up or to be one well, in a mental sense to be to be troubled or agitated and in a physical sense you know, to, to destroy something to, to hit it apart to strike it apart this is the passive passive now you make a passive by adding in a ya so vihanyate it is being struck apart. And the second person, the you, vihanyase, literally, you are being beaten apart. And here it means you are destroying your, your, yourself. 
nirudyama effortlessly palakankshin fruit seeking result seeking seeking result without putting in the work sukumara you delicate little thing bahuvyata long suffering again you sarcastically mrityugrasto or mrityugrasta if it's in the nominative death seized or in the jaws grasta by mrityu in the jaws of death amarakara put it acting as if you're immortal putting on a show of being immortal demonstrating the akara the form the behavior of the amara the amarakara behaving as if immortal hadukita hey you person who are in dukkha you plunged into dukkha hadukita vihanyase you are destroying yourself you're beating yourself apart let me read this again i'll call up the text for you nirudyama palakankshin sukumara bahuvyata mrityugrasto marakara hadukita vihanyase and again nirudyama Palakankshin Sukumara Bahuvyata Mrityugrasto Marakara Hadukita Vihanyase. That's it for verse thirteen.